Mid Segments of Triangles by Erica Summer and Lydia Neely. M the mid segment theorem states that this mid segment is one half the base. Properties of the mid segment include that the mid segment is parallel to the base, the new triangle is similar to the old one, so the angles are the same, the new perimeter is half the old, and the new area is one quarter of the old area. Mid segment the connection of two midpoints. Here is the midpoint formula. x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2. Alright, here we're going to find the midpoint between A and B. So you're going to do 3 plus 1 over 2 and 12 plus 2 over 2. And that gets you the point 2 comma 7. So let's just draw that in. That's about right there. Now we're going to do it for A and C. So 5 plus 3 over 2 and 12 plus 2 over 2. And now you're going to get 4 comma 7. And that's about right here. So those are the midpoints. And to get the mid segment, you're just going to connect the two like that. Alright, so here I already have drawn the mid-segment line, and now we're going to show that the line of the mid-segment is one-half of the base of the original triangle. So here we know that the distance between the two points, the x-points, right here, so 4 minus 2, that's 2, and that's the length of the new triangle. And over here we have 5 minus 1, and that is 4. And that's exactly half of the base. Alright, now we're going to do the area. And as we said before, the area has to be one-fourth of the original, so we're going to find the original area first. And the area of a triangle is one-half base times height. So for the original, we're going to do one-half times four times ten, and that equals twenty. And since we need one-fourth of twenty, we're going to solve for that first. So you do twenty divided by four, and that equals so our new area has to equal 5. Alright, so for our new area, we're going to do 1 half times 2 times 5, and that is equal to 5. Alright, so we know the whole triangle area, which I'm coloring in blue, is 20 and that our new triangle area is 5 and that is 1 fourth of 20